let's dive a little bit into charge and electromagnetic fields etc etc. So the basics of um, electronics and electricity and that's why I made this kind of fun circuit. Though you can use it in real. It is a amplifier, three stage amplifier, made with three NPN transistors. And this are these this is the way to wire them in. And because of the enormous amplification, 300 times multiplied by, uh, by 300 by 300, there is an extreme sensitivity here at the antenna. But as long as the first transistor doesn't receive anything, charge or electromagnetic fields, nothing happens and the LED doesn't light up. And here is that circuit in real. I've made it here on a piece of wood. That's also the best way to make it to not disturb its extreme sensitivity. And I've hooked up now the uh, scope and the uh, frequency counter. And we can see now that the light is off. I hope it's possible to see. Now I touch the antenna or I get close and we read 50 Hertz. So the hum on my body is now extremely amplified and um, there's also a problem here when, when we talk about measuring every wire hooked up to this circuit gives a kind of fail signal anyway. So let's move all these very long wires from the scope etc etc. Let's look only at the, the thing when it is completely free of um, in effect extra antennas that receive the signal, the hum. So when I touch it here you can see that it the LED lights up and when I touch it here exactly the same circuit, circuit uh, situation. Again the circuit and here the electronic drawing. So um, there are a few things to tell. The LED lights up now, but when I move through my room the LED does not light up. It's quite dark. And I now go to the switch of the 230 volts and it could be that I measure here now the electromagnetic field from 50 Hertz. It could be. I'm not sure because when I touch the surface here the LED also lights up. And I think that has to do with charge that builds up on the, on the circuit. And there are some surfaces that are able to build charge up that makes that the LED lights up. And other circ um, circuits that don't have that property. Here is the computer and you can surely see, I'm absolutely sure here, that when I move this thing to the screen it picks up an electromagnetic field. That's absolutely sure. It's strong enough. So uh, I also found that I could um, detect fluids, water for instance. When I stick the antenna into water uh, the LED um, lights up and when I stick it into another uh, fluid 
turpentine that to clean um, to clean things etc. Uh, the lead does not light up. So I'm sure more or less that you can uh, discriminate with this circuit conductive and non-conductive fluids. And of course we know water uh, has a polar structure so it is a conductive fluid. That's one uh, application. So I give it all for free. I don't bind any conclusion to this very simple kind of fun circuit and um, well that's it. So when you do experiments you can for instance make the antenna somewhat longer when you make it too short uh, it is not sensitive enough and when you make it too long for instance with this crocodile clip the, this wire is now connected to the antenna and it picks up so much hum from the environment that the LED constantly lights up. So, a circuit to do more experiments with. And test it and find perhaps practical applications. I call it a strange field and charge detector.